गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर सरिता सरकार फ्रॉम एस वी मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल कटक एंड गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अ केस सीरीज बेस्ड ऑन रोल ऑफ एडीसी इन प्रिडिक्टिंग द ग्रेड ऑफ द ब्रेन ट्यूमर्स सो कमिंग टू द इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट एज वी ऑल नो ब्रेन ट्यूमर कैन बी डायग्नोज विद कन्वेंशनल एम आर आई सिक्विंग दैट इज टी वन एंड टी टू वेटेड इमेजेस एंड पोस्ट कॉन्ट्रास्ट एम आर पोस्ट कॉन्ट्रास्ट टी वन वेटेड इमेजेस बट दो सिक्वेंसिस आर कंसिडर टू बी इनफिशियंट इन डायग्नोजिंग द aggressiveness of the brain tumors for this purpose recent studies have shown that there are the need of other imaging modalities like dwi and adc dwi or diffusion weighted imaging based on the uh, measuring the random brownian motion of water molecules in the biological tissue and is particularly useful in the tumor characterization the extent of the tissue cellularity and presence of intact cell membrane helps to determine the impedance of water molecule diffusion higher the cell higher uh, higher the cell content in the tumor uh, or the high grade tumor show high diffusion restriction and uh, the low adc value this is the base of our study Mm-hmm. So, uh, aim of aim and objective of our study was to apply the ADC values to quantify the difference between low and high grade tumors and correlate it with histopathology. So, the data were collected from the patients attending the uh, to the department of radio diagnosis, uh, being primarily referred from the department of neurosurgery. The study period was eleven months and done on sixty patients. The study study design is retrospective study. All patients of brain tumor uh, were performed uh, MR scan using G Signa HDX machine with 1.5 tesla field strength. Uh, we performed the standard MR protocol and then calculated the ADC values of uh, ADC values in the areas of greatest restriction diffusion in the solid tumor components. Then the histopathology reports were correlated individually. The inclusion criteria is. Uh, the patients having dwi and adc sequence in mr study only uh, lesions measuring more than 1 cm in diameter were included in the study the histopathology consistent with high grade tumors and few benign tumors and we included all age group exclusion criteria there were no adc and dwi sequence in mr study ambiguous histopathological report lesions measuring less than 1 cm on mr or artifact in dwi The study was conducted according with the standard MR protocol using axial coronal and sagittal T1, axial coronal and sagittal T2, axial flare, axial DWI and ADC, axial coronal and sagittal T1 PET SAT plus contrast. The acquisition parameters were long tear and short T with a flip angle of 90 degree and a SOP of 21 cm and two V values were taken and ADC maps were autom- automatically calculated using the inbuilt software. Uh, the data uh, were analyzed using the SPSS using the SPSS version pattern. Then uh, we can see we can see uh, uh, one tumor that is high grade glioma diagnosed uh, histopathologically we can see the bizarre looking cell with cellular atypia the, uh, that tumor showed high uh, diffusion restriction on dwi and corresponding low adc value another tumor that is uh, histopathologically proven schwannoma Uh, shown no diffusion restriction with high adc value so uh, coming to the result as we can see uh, there is a slight male pre- uh, predilection and uh, coming to the age distribution uh, including six, uh, uh, the study included 60 patients majority belong from the 41 to uh, 70 years age group findings uh, uh in the study a 38% patient uh, 38% patient had hygrid glioma 10% patient had lymphoma 4% patient had metastasis and 3% patient has atypical uh, teratoid rhabdoid tumor and rest of the t- rest of the patients having meningioma low grade glioma schwannoma and pituitary macroadenoma uh now coming to the uh, main finding 
the high grade, uh, the 28, 28 patients with high grade tumor had low ADC value, uh, where the four patients with high grade tumor had high ADC value. Whereas the patient, uh, five patients with low grade tumor had low ADC value and sorry and uh, 28 uh, and 23 patients with low ADC uh, with low grade tumor had high ADC value. So we can clearly see 87 percent patients with histologically proven high grade tumors had low ADC values and 82 percent patients of low grade tumor had shown uh, high ADC values on MRI. So now coming to the validity of ADC. High grade tumor with low ADC uh, shown the sensitivity of 87%, specificity of 82%, positive predictive value of 84% and accuracy of 85%. Whereas low grade tumor with high ADC value had shown sensitivity of 82%, specificity of 87.5%, positive predictive value of 85% and accuracy of 85%. So we can clearly see the sensitivity and specificity in predicting the grade of brain tumors showing significant positive results with good sensitivity and specificity. Uh, so uh, now coming to the discussion part, in the part, the study included 60 patients of brain tumor out of them. Uh, 32 patients had histologically proven high-grade tumor and 28 had histologically proven low-grade tumor. So, uh, uh, the findings were the majority of the patients belong from the 41 to 70 years of age group constituted about 73% of study population, 57% were male and 43% were female. 87% of patients uh, with 87% uh, patients with histologically proven high grade tumors had low ADC, and 82% patients with low grade tumor had high uh, ADC values. Uh, so, uh, WHO 3 and 4 were uh, histologically proven, WHO 3 and 4 were considered to be high grade tumor, and WHO 1 and 2 were considered to be low grade tumor. Uh, we compared our study with, uh, with few studies. Uh, which shown the positive correlation between the ADC, ADC value and brain tumor grading. So uh, you can see that uh, there uh, I have taken the four studies which has shown the positive correlation between the ADC value and brain tumor uh, with an inverse relationship between the ADC value and brain tumor. ADC value, uh, sorry, uh, uh, inverse relationship between ADC value and high grade tumors. Uh, so, uh, to conclude, preoperative accurate brain tumor diagnosis plays an essential role in selection of optimum treatment strategy as their management and prognosis are different. Through this study, we aim to analyze the potential of uh, ADC in predicting the tumor grade by examining DWI and correlating the ADC of the tumor with WHO grade. And uh, we found that our study is consistent with the reference studies. ADC is greater than 800. Uh, uh, are predictive of low grade tumor with a sensitivity of 82% and ADCs uh, that uh, with less than 800 are predictive of high grade tumor with a sensitivity of 87.5%. These are my references. Thank you.